How are you doing? Good. It's good to see you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course, of course. Hey guys, it's Alex from Legit Street Cars and welcome to Legit Street Quarters. We're at Legit Street Cars. We are doing great things. We're putting a VRP Whipple kit on an E55 wagon. I don't know what's cooler than that. Not much in my book, but we're excited to be here. This is not just any old E55. This is an E55 wagon. So it's, you can seat seven, and it being a true AMG hand-built motor, this is a supercharged, hand-built, just masterpiece of early 2000 technology that Mercedes offered. 500 crank horsepower, come on now. In a wagon, you can shove the whole family in there and you can, you know, buck 60 down the highway. What more could you want? All right, so I got the guys here from Modern Masters Auto. Thank goodness, because we're gonna be installing this Whipple supercharger on my E55 AMG wagon. And I think they're the only ones in the country that have done this. I started to do it, but there's little odds and ends when you're doing anything aftermarket. So with them here, this is gonna go much faster and we can get right to burnouts and, and silly stuff. You would wanna put a VRP Whipple kit on an E55 Mercedes because the stock supercharger is known to over time to lock up. You're gonna have clutch pulleys, problems, just wear and tear, you know, it's, it's ancient technology. A Whipple is a, a, just a better supercharger. It's more efficient, can handle more boost. For people who have a lot done to the E55s already, it is a great upgrade to keep your old performance parts and you can add the Whipple supercharger and push your car to even further limits. We've seen upwards of 700 plus to 800 horsepower with a VRP Whipple kit. Right now, Rusty's getting the Whipple supercharger. He's going to take the Whipple supercharger, the VRP kit, put them together with a factory intercooler, and he's going to grind the tabs out so that the factory intercooler will fit the VRP Whipple kit and seal that all together, put on the throttle body, so that thing is ready for boost. Directions. In 500 feet, turn right. We are headed to the parts store. We're gonna get a few things we need to finish the supercharger kit, VRP Whipple kit, Whipple, Whipple. Some say I'm lost. GPS keeps redirecting, I keep driving. We're just doing our jobs here. Gone. Hello. What else do we need? Hose. The gate hose is right here that we use. Two T's, Alex. Bing, bing. I know me a straight. Do you need this hose? I brought hose. You brought hose? How many hose did you bring? I brought double hose. Did you bring a lot of hose? Did, did you have the smaller size or whatever we needed? I don't. You don't shit. Shit. You have anything that has hose comes on we could rob them off of? Just kidding, I didn't say that. Well, it's up here, we just gotta look for us to use your eyes. You want to find everything for you? Lazy. Oh, dude, here they are. Cha chow. That's them. How much was all this? 35 bucks. Jesus Christ, dude. He better be buying me dinner tonight. Oh my God, that was all my lunch money for this whole trip. How much is a bag? <laughs> Should I even ask? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's on the house today. Okay. Thanks. We just got back from the parts store. We're gonna add a couple things that Alex wanted to throw in there. We're gonna do a secondary heat exchanger and split cooling so we can get optimal cooling to the Whipple supercharger. I hope Alex sees this because you owe me $35. I have Venmo or Cash App. Alex is knocking out the water pump today, the thermostat, coolant temperature sensor. He's getting new spark plugs put in the motor and he has fresh power coated valve covers that he's gonna seal up and put on the motor so we are ready to drop in the VRP Whipple kit come tomorrow. 
Shout out to our home base at Modern Masters. Rachel was calling the Mercedes dealer up here actually, and she was ordering uh, parts to be readily uh, shipped here from Mercedes for uh, the build tomorrow. I'm checking on the clip right now, but you said it should all be able to be there by 8 a.m. tomorrow. By how long? 8 a.m. Oh, okay, good. Yes, all right, perfect. Thank you. All right, love you. Kiss, kiss. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Tell Rusty bye. Oh, love you, Rusty. Bye. bye. Make sure that is never aired. I have no idea who Alex or any of this is. Uh, but meeting him, it's an awesome setup. And he's a really cool guy. Uh, we're here alone, which is uh, it's pretty it's pretty sketchy on its own. But uh, we're gonna lock her up and not take not take nothing with us. got done putting the 630cc injectors and fuel rail. Alex put the new dampener in there to keep it from leaking. Uh, right now Alex and Rusty are uh, finishing putting the spark plugs in, bolting up the cool packs and the new spark plug wires. It looks like Alex chose some aftermarket wires so they're having a fun time over there putting on the wires. We have the supercharger secured, fuel rail, so now we're going to get the surge tanks on and then we're going to get the VRP uh, pulleys on and VRP HD tensioner. And we also brought Alex some TCU tunes from TJ Mary. He sent us two different ones for two different driving styles and they both come with agility mode so it would be a lot more fun uh, with these TCU tunes. So we're real excited to give those to him and we'll get, once the car's running and driving, we'll put one of those in and see how Alex likes it. All right, cheers. Okay, so right now I am installing the surge tanks on the Whipple kit. Um, it's a little bit offset um, than the factory supercharger, so if Phil supplies a uh, offset coupler for the back. And uh, what I've noticed is they are not offset enough. This is the, the big thing I hate about doing these kits. Uh, it's really the only hard part. Um, it's real hard on my lower back, and uh, what I'd really like to see is um, Phil uh, popping these in here himself just one time because I know if he had to go through this these couplers would be fixed that that very night because I, he wouldn't be able to sleep knowing that I've done this this many times and haven't been complaining <sighs> but back to work All right guys, it's day two. I just got done installing all of the pulleys and the belt wrap kit on the front of the engine. And Rusty has been working on these surge tanks for about 14 days now, because they're super, super easy to put on. <laughs> and uh, he showed us the way, he showed us the way, and he's showing the viewers the way, which is most important. There's a couple little rusty cuts you gotta do on the silicone coupler to make it work. And he did it, so I'm thankful for that. Thanks, Rusty. Well, so we're ending up uh, day two. Our videographer is about to head out. Supercharger is in. The last surge tank is going on. All the fueling's done. We're about to finish the tune, and Alex is going to do split cooling, secondary heat exchanger, and then we're wrapping everything up. Hopefully, Alex is doing burnouts by day's end, but this will be the end of our video. So, hope you guys liked it. I want to thank Alex for everything. Thanks, Dan. I'm actually going to go eat a can of tuna right now. Okay, he's going to eat tuna. Yeah, tuna. So. And then all the other stuff you said. Okay, awesome. <laughs>